Right, hello folks. Uh, live painting series two this is. Uh, depend, I don't know what episode this is, depending which um, which platform you're watching on. Now, I'm going to let this dry before I get a lot. Normally when I let something dry, I leave it for at least because it dries quickly, even putting on silly as this. So, it just occurred to me, the light is good enough. And I've got the urge. So I'm going to do the next session now. I hope this, all of this swirly bit done. So I can, I've just got the um, embellishment due afterwards. Now I want to get lots of blue on here. I've got to put some white in as well. I'll put white in afterwards. In fact, I'll, put a, a, I'll put a little bit of white now. When you're doing abstract, a bit of white can absolutely wonders when it comes to clouds. <laughs> right. So I'm going to put some in there, just a bit of not too much. I don't want too much white in there because I can go in later with the white. Okay. That's why you don't want too much white because for the first couple of swipes it looks fine, but then you end up going going over it and basically just mixing it in with the blue, which makes the just makes the blue forever lighter. Okay, I don't really want to go up. I don't really want to go over that bit, but I'm going to have to because I need to get up. You see that. See that bit there between the light and the dark blue? I need to get that filled. So I'm going to have to go over it. There we go. Whether I want to or not. Needs a bit more blue in there. leaving a little space but hopefully between the blue and the green for some of that brown it doesn't need to be in there but it works with this sort of sp spring color scheme okay that looks okay what does it need in there Needs some white clouds, doesn't it? Um, now, where are my kitchen towel wires? I need a new bit. I've said it before, I'm going to say it again. A quick wipe with some kitchen towel, and you're good to go again. None of this mucking about with oils. Right, what was I doing? A white. Okay. That's better. Oh yeah, look at that. I'm getting that white back in. Like that. It's not gone right. I think I've got away with it there. Do I need more white? I need a touch more white. Not too much. But it needs a, a touch more. So I can get a touch more. Painting, I did learn very early on, it's better to do not enough and put more on afterwards than put too much on and not leave you really anywhere to go. Bit there.
That'll do. I'm thinking there's a... Yeah, no, that'll do. Okay. Didn't even check the time on this one to see how long I was going. It's not going to be as long as the last one, is it? Because I'm just about done on this bit. I've got to put a bit... Now, shall I put the brown in there? Yes, let me do that now. some of the darker stuff as well that was yellow ochre that I just whacked on there and I'm going to put on what am I going to put on some burnt sienna as well uh, the old palette knife of what again burnt sienna not much Really don't want much. Not enough. Right. So I didn't really need this brown in there at all, but it gives a just gives a bit of added touch to it. And suggests earth, doesn't it? Oh, yeah, that looks better. Go back to that that blue in the corner that you might remember from earlier. Uh, uh, ultramarine blue. Squeeze of that. Sun has found the sun is fading and it's found more cloud. Or oh, has it gone? Oh, it's found a lot of cloud. I wouldn't normally be painting in this light. And I knew actually. Oh, it's February the 18th. Gone three o'clock. Oh, sun's appeared again. There we go. The sun is lasting later in the day. The daylight is lasting later, but obviously it is at the is it is at that point now. Right. What I'm gonna do is put put the white on the Masking tape. That allows you just to allows me just to drag it over. Too much. A bit more blue on there. Right, 
This is the trouble I mentioned before when the you put, it doesn't matter how much blue you're putting over the top, it's now just mashed it into it's mashed it all together into a lighter blue. It's not what I wanted at all. That might have to do. Okay. I'm now looking at these bottom corners. I'm thinking that that dark green down at the bottom could do with a burst as well. But that is not looking too bad with what I had in my imagination. It's not quite the same, but it's not a million miles off. Yeah, a bit more green down here. Okay. Masking tape off again. might end up as one of the finished products where the prints as an image for prints it actually works better than the original because the original almost I love this texture stuff but in a way it's too much it's like a bull in a china shop type texture and color which okay you know it sort of is a bit of a style but Right, so if we compare that to, you can see it's in that style, can't you? Where's the other one? It's in that style. But what I'm going to do with this one, what I'm going to do with this one is embellish over the top of it to have it as a version of that spring that one I did in spring 2020, so I still can't find, I don't know where the, I did one in 2021, which had had my newer paints um, that don't fade, that don't go as dull when they dry, see that's gone, uh, well obviously it's not, as, it's not as, by itself it looks fine, but it's duller than these paints. Let me see if I can have a quick look to see if I can find it while I'm just finishing off this video. Oh no, it could be anywhere. No, I can't find it. Which is actually quite interesting, there's a why I can't find it. But, I would never claim to be the most organised person in the world. So I'll have to show that to you on another, on another um, later in the series. Okay, so I'm going to let that dry now and then it's, I'll do the embellishments later. Signing off for now, wishing you as ever health and happiness. I'll see you next time.